this is a programming question we have been given a c program and for that we need to determine what will be the resulting scenario as it is given in the options let us check if this program compiles correctly and what is the result that it can give so as it can be seen there are three variables declared i j and count count and i are both initialized to zero while the third variable j it is being used in this for loop so in this loop j runs from minus 3 to 3 and it's incremented by 1 in every step so this loop will execute for the values of j equal to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 so this for loop will be executing for 7 times and then inside that loop what happens we encounter this if condition now in this if condition there are these two conditions let's call c1 and c2 there is an and operator between them so now when we check for two conditions if c1 and c2 then because of the short circuiting property what happens is if c1 is false then we will not check for c2 we'll directly return false but if c1 is true then only we will check for c2 and then depending upon the result of c2 we will return either true or false so that same thing applies over here first we check for the condition c1 that is j greater than or equal to 0 now this first condition c1 it fails for these three values so in these three we check only for c1 and that fails so we do not check for c2 so these three iterations of the for loop are simply wasted then while j becomes 0 and this onwards the value of j will satisfy being greater than or equal to 0 which means c1 will be satisfied for these four values of j then only we will go and check for c2 and what is that i plus plus so for these four values of j we will be checking for the condition c2 so let us check what happens for j equal to 0 now as you can see i also was 0 initially so while j is 0 and i is also 0 we are at this point and we are checking c1 done coming to c2 if i plus plus so if we have any condition like if i plus plus then it checks for the value of i first and then increments it because it is a post increment operation so for if i plus plus the initial value of i that is 0 that will be considered in this iteration so here we get i equal to 0 and then it is incremented to 1 so this if condition fails which means for this particular iteration condition c2 fails so we will again not enter to this statement that is given after if we will simply go to the next iteration of the for loop and now i has become 1 so when we come to this j equal to 1 in the next iteration of the for loop then c1 is definitely satisfied coming to c2 if i plus plus here the value of i that will be considered will be 1 so now c2 is also satisfied and for the next time i will be incremented to 2 so now because both the conditions have satisfied we will execute this particular statement that is count equal to count plus j count is initially 0 now we are incrementing it by j and what was j in this iteration it was 1 so count becomes 1 then we go to the next iteration here j is 2 i is 2 so both the conditions c1 and c2 are satisfied if i plus plus here the value of i is 2 so if 2 that is definitely true because every boolean value other than 0 is assumed to be true so if 2 means if i plus plus and if i is 2 then c2 will also be satisfied and i will be incremented to 3 for the next iteration so here both c1 c2 satisfied again the statement will be executed count equal to count plus j so in this iteration j was 2 so that 2 will be added to count and it will become 3 so now coming to the last iteration here j is 3 i is 3 again both conditions are satisfied the statement will be executed j value is added to count which means 
1 plus 2 plus 3 count becomes 6 now and i is incremented to 4 for the next iteration but then j becomes 4 and we will break out of the loop because it was only up to j less than or equal to 3 so now we come out of this for loop and then finally execute this particular line this line will always be executed irrespective of the values of i and j so what does it do it adds the value of i to the count what is i currently it is 4 and what is the current value of count it is 6 so to that 6 we add 4 and that gives us the final result as 10 and that will be printed so what actually this code did it added the value of j three times to count what were those values one two and three these three values of j were added to count and then finally value of i was added to the count which was four by that time so one two three and four making up 10 this 10 was added to the count and that is printed which means the output printed by this code will be 10 so this program compiled successfully and the output return will be 10 when it executes so the correct option will be b to go with